Hello everyone, this is Garrett and this is Amnesia, a machine for pigs. And it came out probably yesterday. I'm hoping I can get the video up in one day. And if not, it came out a while, well, a while ago. And uh, now I'm playing it. I've never played this game before. This is going to be an entirely blind playthrough. I have played the previous Amnesia game, which is the not the prequel. It's just the first game in the series of Amnesia, really. And it was pretty fun, and I enjoyed it quite a lot, and now I'm playing the second game because I enjoyed the first one a lot. And this profile was to test if the game worked at all, and it did, even when recording it. And what i found so far is that the loading screens are not very intuitive, except if you really like hearts. But I've only seen one of them, so <laughs> there you go. I might be entirely wrong, I'm just gonna start a new game. In this oddly pipe-filled world. And I might skip out, like, cut out this loading screen right here because... Seeing a heart that says W-A-B-S-F-V-P-X is not really the most exciting thing. Especially considering the length of this loading screen, but there you go. A silence with a black screen. He who makes a beast of himself removes himself from the pain of being human. By Dr. Samuel Johnson. Daddy. Daddy. Please don't kill me. This is a very strange effect. I can't really tell what's going on. Oh, okay, there is more. There is more to this machine than meets the eye. It's just that even now I'm not really sure what I'm looking at, but you know, there is more to this machine than meets the eye. Mostly just scary noises, which is fine. Also, I wonder if that daddy daddy means if this is one of the few games that frictional games, and I guess the Chinese room as well has made where you actually have interaction with a person. Because I think um, I should probably mention, I'm probably going to spoil things from the previous games, <laughs> um, including Amnesia and Penumbra, all of the Penumbra games. So. Um, if I do that, then I am sorry, and, um, you sh I played those games too, and I recorded them too, so if you want to watch that, hey, there you go. Uh, but yeah, there, there haven't been many people you really talk to. I mean, there's been one or two every now and then. But, yeah, let's see how it is in this game. A machine for pigs. Not quite sure what it means. I did, I kind of tried to avoid as much about this game as possible the last well since it was announced pretty much like I was just not interested in being spoiled before actually playing the game and this is really dark and I don't have a lantern it's not really dark it's just kind of odd I'm not really sure how to quite explain this but there you go we are in a world and there's a drawer here and it seems locked or something because I can't interact with it nice little painting some people. Yo, know, that guy looks odd. He looks very forced to the camera, but there you go. I guess it wasn't really a camera. I guess it was more of a painting. Hold down left, blah, blah, blah. That's just like general direction. Like controls again. Seems to control pretty much the same way as uh, Amnesia and all the Penumbra games, where you can just like smash it close with the right mouse button, which is nice. And uh, yeah, my bed is entirely caged, which is. Worrisome, I guess. Let's see. Ooh, another painting. Some more people. Very good. Hold down da 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 in order to move objects that are light enough to pick up. Hmm. Hold down the mouse while. Move the mouse while. I guess these books are too heavy to pick up because I don't think I can actually interact with them. I can't get inside this closet, apparently. Uh. Which was not quite what I meant to do. 
It's, yeah, you just go through it. Oh, wait, can I go under this or something? This looks really strange. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll get through this room eventually. This is a really hard game, you guys. Oh, and there's a pig head. I can't, also can't interact with the pig head, huh. The chair, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can just play around with this a lot. Ooh, the rotating feels weird. But it rotates really quickly. Um, sometimes. Sometimes it just stops rotating. But there you go. Got a chair. Lamp. Closet. Can I get on top of the closet? I'll look at that piece of paper in a second. Like, I'm pretty sure I can probably look at that. But more importantly, can I jump on top of this closet? And I can. Well, does get me? No way. It doesn't look like there's anything on top of the bed either. I have now deduced this. I can look at this piece of paper. June 24th, 1899. In my dreams, I see a man dressed in jaguar skins and feathered like a blooded saint. What came from the heart lubricated us? Lubricated? Yeah, okay. It crushed evil under its tread and liberated us all. The footed heat of the jungle mirrored somewhere behind my forehead. My temple pounds. The blood boils in my skull. It feels as if there's something alive there. A rat. A damn rat gnawing through my brains, eating its way out into the world. Even the laudanum will not quell its endless hunger. I hear my children playing in the attic, but it fills me with terror, not love. What desperate thoughts are these? I don't know. Seems odd. And this book... These books are all just not light enough to interact with, so... I guess I'll just go through the door. Ooh. Man, the doors feel odd in this game. Compared to the previous games. They feel really light. Find us. A note has been added to the journal. Press J to look at journal. A fever dream. Uh, that missing oh, I wake alone to a, sound, to a house in silence. That missing sound of children playing is like a dark and fissumed sepulchre. Man, this is going to be horrible for anyone who likes words because I'm just not reading any of them. Beckoning me to begin a descent to the loam where surely only bodies may be found. No matter. My children call and I shall answer. I will find them. Uh, but yeah, I can't actually speak English um, as opposed to what you may think right now. Um, I can't actually speak at all. So I'm hoping that's not a disappointment to anyone watching this because, uh, yeah, my, yeah, the, this game is already using a lot of words which are unknown to my face and therefore will be pronounced like a buffoon. Hmm. Oh, wow. What is this? I can actually close doors. What is this revolution? That is amazing. I cannot interact with this toilet. That makes me a little bit sad. Can I at least pull the chain? No. Nothing. You just made a pretty looking toilet for me to look at and nothing else. That's fair enough, I guess. If that's what you want to do, then don't let me stop you. Hmm. More people. Can't really get on top of things in this game so far, which... A little bit sad. It's a little bit tricky. Hmm. Yeah, there's just seems to be a bunch of people sitting there and just looking at, I guess, this person being shown to the world. A lot of windows. Can't open any of them. Doesn't look like there's actually anything outside of them except for a very odd-looking skybox that kind of cuts off over there. But, you know, that's... Yeah, skyboxes, they, they are not endless. Oh. Well, that's great. No, this is going to be great, isn't it? This is going to be another one of those great times where I just have a lot of fun. Nothing goes wrong. And we just have a good time, all in all. Just some children laughing every now and then. Some upstairs worlds. I'll go up to different floors later. Unless I don't have a choice. Which is entirely possible. Um... <laughs> yeah, this... Okay, yeah, I'll go there then, because I don't... I'm guessing I can't just jump down. I'm guessing this is probably an invisible wall. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty invisible to me. Uh, well, okay, we... Ooh, doggy. 
and some child that looks away from the dog while their puppet is on the floor. And some monster is lurking out the window, but that's okay because we're not there. Nothing to worry about, nothing to see here. This way. This way. And naturally, the lights go on, off and on because, you know, that's just how lights work. When suddenly you are hit with a flashback of emotions, lights will break. Them's the rules of a horror game. And I'm pretty horrified already. And the door's locked. Huh. That's unfortunate. Oh, that door opened. That's fine, though. I'm sure there's nothing of scary in this room. The hell are these noises that's going on here? There's a lot of scary noises in this game so far, and a lot of laundry. I thought I saw a bunch like of arms or something, but no, it's just laundry. Uh, another closet that can't be opened. Oh, and the door. Odd noises everywhere. Windows looking a bit strange. Just sitting there off and on again. People interrupting me as I am trying to record my horror games. All in a general day's work. Well, nothing wrong here. Oh. Uh, the door is gone now. I'm pretty sure there was a door here previously. Wasn't there? Am I going mad again? Because... Yeah, there was a... Oh God, this game's already starting, isn't it? It's already starting its sh shenaniganry. Suddenly removing doors from the world without my permission. There's a thingy there. And I will get to that thingy. Which is probably going to fall down because it looks like a... Well, I guess it did say they were playing on the attic, didn't they? Oh, it's a journal thingy, I think. My journal? Attics and nurseries, but they slept in the attic when they were babies in arms. And perhaps they have hidden there now. I remember I insisted upon it midway between my bedroom and my office. Uh, I'll go there. Another locked door. And smoke. Well, okay then. Get down. Oh, we actually have a really similar, like, attic ladder type thing in my house. So that's kind of cool. The only difference is... In that one, I can actually interact with it after making it go down. <laughs> uh, so far, the interaction... No, I'm a good man. Don't worry about it. I don't know what you guys are worried about. But yeah, like so far, a lot of the interaction just feels a bit odd. Where either you can't interact with it at all, or it just stops being interactable or whatever. You picked up a ladder and you can turn on. Uh, be careful not to attract unwanted attention. Doesn't say anything about uh, like running out, which is good, I guess. Unless it just doesn't say so. Which is also very possible. What's going on here? Little note. Hmm. I kind of want to look at more of this stuff, but I kind of want to look at the note as well. A little bear. I can hold the bear. It just seems to hang on just fine. One, two, three, four, five. Man. They are all in just like a good order of numbers. Nice Bible next to the bed because, you know, it's a good place to sleep with a Bible and a teddy bear. Edwin and Enoch's diary. Diary. <laughs> diary. October 11th, 1899. Daddy says there won't be a Christmas this year. He is much too busy. Nanny says we must not disturb him. He is ever so busy. He is gone for work before she wakes up and often we are asleep when before he returns. We found a bird in the garden with a broken wing. We gave it to Nanny who said it was a filthy thing and hit it with a rolling pin. Later we crept downstairs to bury the body when everyone was asleep. There was a pig in the garden. We heard it sniffing about. Then Daddy came and said we had to come inside straight away. He was furious, but we think he'd been crying again. That's dad. Crying over pigs. It's like it's a machine 
Poor pigs. So, yeah, like, I can move these things with my teddy bear. Oh, there's letters on it. I didn't actually notice that until now. But, yeah, I, I can move the things, but I can't actually <sighs> grab them, which... I don't know, like, it probably should bother me this much, but it does. Also, this bear is stuck, isn't it? Uh, please, bear. I wonder if there's other letters, which could make words. There's a 2 and E. Like, what is, what is the randomness of these letters? Like, oh, I threw the Bible on the floor. Oh, there's an either an O or a 0. On. Yeah, that's just not very helpful. My bear keeps getting stuck in walls. <laughs> this is a problem I have in real life as well, where you're just playing with your bear and suddenly it's stuck inside a wall. And a, uh, will you just get out of the wall, please? Maybe this is why he's father was crying all the time because his bears kept stuck in walls and all the time and he just wants to have a wait where did my bear go there we go look like it's the block was stuck in the bear too like uh, man 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 I'm taking this bear with me it's it's a danger it's a danger to humanity I wonder what I can move around now I guess I could just like have this bear as my testing subject for seeing what I can and cannot move in this game is it getting dark in here? Yeah, it's probably my imagination. Uh, man, this bear is creepy as hell. <laughs> Keeps spinning around, which is not really doing, not really helping what I, with my goals, is it? What is this? Is this a bunch of rats or something? It's really hard to tell what anything is. <laughs> uh, I don't know, everything's really small so far. Or far away. Or stuffle fluffle. The music box stopped. Never mind. It just became lost for a moment, but now it's back again. Is that a pig head? Whoa, I can I can move this box with my bear. I'm not sure if that's intended or not. Or if I can just like okay, I can just move it normally as well. I was like, wait, I have to have this bear here to move this box, but no. Uh, I might need this bear here to step on top of this box. Is it stuck again? No, it's not. Okay. For a brief moment. Get on there. I, like, it's surprisingly hard to jump on anything. It's like everything's barely too high to do anything with. That's kind of sad. Uh, that bear is gonna come with me. I, I'm. This is my safety bear. His name is Beatrice, which is an odd name for a male bear, but that's just how it's gonna be. Beatrice the bear and me are going on a journey through amnesia. And I swear, if anything dares to steal this bear, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get so mad. <laughs> I'm gonna get so mad. You have no idea. One of the candles was. Yeah, I was I'm somewhat aware of that. But yeah, one of the candles was already lit. I'm wondering if there is... Yeah, like a bunch of candles are lit already. I wonder if that actually means something. What's going on there? What is that? Something's moving there. Is that a crib? Those are two cribs, and they're just moving by themselves. That's odd. That was a pig head. Which I probably can't interact with. Nope. It's a shame I can't interact with any of these pig heads. I would like to take one along. Have a bear and a pig. Go on a journey with the man. Subtle reference. Um, I'm kind of stuck behind this box. I can apparently move it, but I can't quite get up. There you go. It was hard to stand up there for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Is this bear actually making it too heavy to move? Wow. Okay, maybe this bear is not really that great of an idea. But that's okay. That's fine. I'll figure something out. Cribs are still moving, I think, yeah. I do have a better view from here. There's another bear over there. I could probably put a bear in each crib. Maybe I'll get an achievement for it. Little cutscene where everything starts meowing at you. That'll be cute. Uh, yeah. I kind of want to go in that room. 
I really, really want to go into that room. Why is this place so dark, though? Like, seriously. There's no reason for this entire house to be this dark. Well, there probably is. But I don't. I haven't found a reason yet. 